everybody welcome back to the channel and this shit just got worse child i don't know what's going on with my lighting today i have to apologize like i said i'm in a kind of a different location to where i'm usually located in where y'all can see me real good but uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it do what it do we're gonna you know i'm gonna ask that y'all just apologize uh y'all just forgive a bitch on this day and we'll, we'll work on being better tomorrow when i come down here to do uh child i'm practically in the motherfucking dog hold on when I come down here to do them haves and no have nots tomorrow, that that's that's what I'm I'm basically saying. I'm, I don't know why I got a glare in my face, but I do. Anyway, y'all, this is Black Ink Crew Chicago season two finale, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I promised Van that I would see this to it uh, to the end. Last week, y'all know I took a YouTube break, so I didn't record any videos last week. So here I am today to live up to what I said. These are going to be just snippets of what I got out of the last episode and my final thoughts on the show, okay? So we start off with Don and Ashley going to the Dominican Republic on a romantic holiday getaway, whatever you want to call it. Um, doing this here little romantic uh, thing that they own, we find, she asking him questions about did he fuck uh, Charmaine. Well, after her continuously asking this man this, he finally go ahead on and tell her girl yeah. So now she in her fucking feelings. Why would you be in your feelings behind something your intuition already told you? And then when he confirms it because you constantly bugging him, now you upset. Girl, get your life. Well, she ready for the relationship to be over, so she said. But after speaking with her family members, namely her brother, she decided to go ahead on and accept this man's uh, proposal and I, I don't understand that because y'all not on stable ground at all. This man has a habit of one going to fuck off and want to kick a bitch ass or at least getting to the point where he acts like he want to kick uh, ass and then he's a known cheater so why you continuously going through this with him is beyond me but she does she decided to go head on. Next we got Kat and she in her fucking feelings because she asked for a little space to do her own thing and the girls never you know the girls Charmaine and Danielle haven't come to see her her since she moved upstairs to the full flow. They got a job down there to do. Now, maybe they could have came up there and visited you, but then again, they could have just been looking at it as, you want your space, so we're going to go on and give a bitch her space. We're not going to harass her. We're going to let her be her, okay? And she can't, she can't handle it. I, I don't know why she can't fucking handle it, but she can't seem to handle that. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm trying to release this, uh, <laughs> I'm actually releasing my Real Housewives of Atlanta video right now. But, um, yeah, she, she and her fucking feelings, y'all, about the situation. And, and I don't, I don't know why the fuck she and her fucking feelings about that. But she is. And plus, she was upset with them because they decided to go on down there and, uh, go to the uh, uh, employee appreciation dinner. And I, once again, I don't understand why she mad because, uh, Girl, them folks, that, you quit. They didn't quit. You know, even though I, I understand that they kind of made it hard for you to stay, you still quit on your own. So, why is you mad? Is what I want to know. Why is you mad? But, she mad, y'all. She mad. Whatever. Now, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But, that's how that bitch feeling. So, um, they solved that problem, child. And the next thing that goes on from that is, uh, Ryan and the crew decides that they're going to do a donation for a tat, uh, type of event. They wanted to do an event where they, um, you turn in a weapon and you get a tat, but apparently they tried that, another organization tried that, and rival gang members came and shot up the place, so... That idea wasn't going to work because he didn't have the support of the police department. So he wasn't going to deal with it. They decided to do it that the way that they're doing it now. Okay. And um, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, it's at that point when they realize that they short that one person tatting these people. Because they don't know how many people are going to come. That um, he kind of get it. Uh, that's when four decides that. He gonna start thinking about Kat. Now, motherfucker, you should have been thinking about her all along, but you weren't thinking about her. You you did her kind of fucked up. You act like she was a piece of ass and her feelings weren't valid. So, I guess that since he and his feeling, he decided to go talk to her concerning coming to the annual birthday party that Ryan family still throws for Nova, the sister that was murdered, um, and the niece. And Kat does wind up showing up at that event. And what should have happened finally did happen all along 
they had a chance to talk to each other and get an understanding of how each other was feeling. And Cat is going to return to Nine Mag. And I say good, you know. Long as y'all understand that y'all did not make each other, y'all all enhanced each other's abilities. Is that it? Y'all, she already was established and you all were established, okay? Um, Danielle finally see this dude Terrence and uh, decides that she gonna let go of that bullshit. But he wants to try to work on it now. See, the only reason why he want to work on it now because he don't want her to leave him alone. That's how they always do. They want you when you don't want their ass no more. But she ain't hearing this shit. And she, she kind of nervous about getting into anything with Ryan as well because she don't want to get hurt again. But Ryan is a relationship type of dude. So you probably do better off with Ryan because he is a man about something. One thing we can't deny is the motherfucker might be sensitive, but he talented. So I would suggest if, if that ain't cat dick like we heard, then girl, you might want to go on and jump on that, that nigga relationship oriented and all of that shit. Well, at the birthday party, Don and uh, Ashley show up uh, and they announce their engagement. And of course, you got Charmaine and her feelings. And my thing is, girl, get over that, okay? That, me, that nigga lied to you. You was the side piece. This the woman he want to be with. And I think he only want to be with her because he think if he ain't with her, he ain't going to be able to see his child, okay? That ain't no good goddamn situation either. But let it go and go find you a man that really wants you, girl. Go pop your pussy for a real nigga. That's what you need to do. Okay. Now, on that last episode, y'all, Van uh, found out that he would actually have to do... He gonna have to do at least four months in the boot camp. Now, Ford was telling him to fight that. I'm like, fight that for what? If all you gotta do is go do four months in a boot camp and opposed to going to jail for over a year, I think I would have been, you know, I'd have been running down there to the boot camp. So he decided he gonna do that and he sit down with his daughter who I, I understand, you know, even though we know four months ain't a long time, that's her dad and she don't wanna do without him and he also don't wanna leave her. But I mean you did something and you gotta go do the time that you gotta do and just thank God it was only four months out of your life opposed to taking a year and a half to two years of your life. So he at the end of the episode we did see everybody escort him to the military style boot camp facility that he would be doing his time in and y'all know that kind of made me feel some kind of way because of course I got this thing called passion for the man gets God all of them through him and I just I'm pretty sure that by the time they film season two he will be on season two of Black Ink Crew. My overall thoughts on this show is simply this. I'm impressed. I mean it it was a little it kind of wore me out with the with the Charmaine and and Dan, uh Don and Ashley story but for the most part this show was very good I appreciated what they brought to the table I appreciate actually seeing people on this show because one thing we can't deny on every episode we saw at least two get tattoos being done and that was good child that was good even on that last one uh that Phoenix he did I was here for that shit you know what I'm saying I like that show. I really do like it. It ain't just that I got passion for uh, Van, although, you know, I, I love him. I want him to tattoo me right up in here somewhere. I really did like what this show came brought to the table. I like seeing the artists actually doing some work. If they just curb this shit with Charmaine and Dunn and don't ever drag a storyline like that again, y'all didn't have a 10 episodes, child. Y'all y'all gave too much time to that. But overall, it was a great show. I look forward to seeing it return. And I, if it does return, which I do believe that it will, I will be definitely here to review it and support it 100%. I, I'm glad that I was able to actually, you know, be seen by the cast members and develop personal relationships with one or two of them. <laughs> and, um, also, uh, because I know he probably will see this when he get out, uh, child, I didn't get that DM on Instagram until like two weeks ago. I don't know what the hell... Y'all know I'm not a social media person. I'm really not. So if you leaving me messages, you might want to hit me up and let me know. And, and and I thank you. You know you 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 don't watch these videos. You know damn well that I leave my email down in my address. I mean in my uh description box on my videos. You could email me there. Cause I'm just now getting that personal DM you sent. But I wish you well. Know that I ha you are. I support you 100. percent Um. It's, you know, this gonna pass. It's just a moment in your life. By the time you see this child be all over with, you be moving on, getting ready to start filming season two. So, just consider this as a lesson learned in your life. This was just a lesson for you in life. And push through.
You know, you got too much going for yourself to even let something like this stop you. Um, in the meantime, in between time, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.